I am going to do the makeup look that someone requested in my what's in my bag video. Um, it was just super simple with kind of bold lashes. But I'm just going to do that super simple look. And hopefully it turns out good. So I'm just going to start with my eyes because I usually start with my eyes when I wear lashes or eyeliner just so I can clean up if I need to. This look I did was super simple, so I'm not going to do like wing liner or anything. I'm just going to do eyeshadow, a thin line of liner, and then move on. So first things first, I'm going to take the Milani uh, eyeshadow primer and prime my eyes. I may look over here too because my mirror's over here. Um, I kind of have limited space to work with right now. Because I've got all of my makeup right here. And, yeah. So, I may have limited space. Then I'm going to take my Cody Airspun Powder and just take a little bit of that on one of these, like, Anastasia brushes that come with the palettes. And just set that. And then the palette that I'm going to be using is the Anastasia Sultry Palette. I've used this so, so much. It's gorgeous. Love it. So the first thing I'm going to take is I'm going to take Twig right, right here. This is just a, it's kind of hard to see because my light's so bright. But it's just like a good transition shade. And I'm going to take a Wet n Wild brush and just put that in my crease it's a little darker than normal transition shade but it's the best one in here so I use it anyway and I'm not going to be putting any darker color so it kind of works Okay, so now I'm going to take my Morphe, um, this is the M124, it's just like a flat shader brush, it's good for um, glitters and like packing on glitters, and then I'm going to use my MAC Fix Plus, which is hard to say with this light, um, I'm just going to spray this, I'm just going to spray this brush. Okay, I'm going to spray this brush <laughs> and I'm going to put this color pearl right here. Once again, it's hard to say. I'm sorry. This light is shit. And I'm just going to pack this on my lid. It's just a really pretty glitter. So I'm just going to pack that on my lid. And I'm just going to take this up to where my crease color was. And I'm just going to wet my brush again. This brush is kind of flared out some since I got it. But this brush is really good for just packing on glitter. And these glitters in this palette aren't as good if you don't wet them. It just makes them more vibrant. You could probably use something else besides the Mac Fix Plus, but I just feel like it works best to get a good glitter payoff. And then I'm going to take that brush again with a little more twig and just blend that out okay so that's all of the eyeshadow i'm going to use and then i'm just going to take i think in my last video i used this l'oreal voluminous linear newer um felt tip 
eyeliner but I'm actually gonna switch and use this elf one because I just bought this one this is a felt tip as well I just bought this one the L'Oreal is kind of running out so it's a little harder to get a good like straight line so I'm just gonna do a straight line of this eyeliner I'm probably gonna have to do it off camera like over here with my mirror I'll try to bring my mirror a little closer so maybe you can see but it's hard to do eyeliner on camera so I'm just gonna do my eyeliner now and I'll be right back so I just did like a super thin line now I'm just gonna take these Ardell no these are actually the kiss lashes that I used I thought I threw them out but I didn't they're kiss couture or something they're in teddy all it says is teddy because I threw the box away I lashes that I'm using they're really really pretty so I'm just going to take my little um, eyelash applicator that comes with like, all lashes and then I'm going to take my uh, kiss lash glue this is the black one it's starting to dry out so I'm gonna have to get some more but this has been my favorite lash glue and then I'm just going to coat my lashes and it's best to put more lash glue at the ends. That way the ends don't pop out or pop up. And then I'm just going to wait a couple minutes and let that get tacky. Alright, now I'm just going to pop my lash on. Okay, so that lash is on. And I forgot, I usually do mascara and curl my lashes first. I kind of forgot that. So I'll just, I'll just do that on this eye. It's been a little bit since I did makeup. So, I guess I'm losing my mind. I'm just going to take a little bit of this Butter London Power Up mascara and just put a little coat on my lashes before I put the actual lash on. I'll just combine my lashes with this one when we get there, so it'll be alright. Take the second lash and go ahead and start putting the glue on it. <clears throat> I feel like the white glue doesn't stick as good. So, that's why I prefer the black, but it is messier because sometimes you're able to see it. Everyone can see you. Hello. <laughs> so. Second lash is on. And that's all I'm going to do for the eyes right now. <clears throat> and I'll like combine them and all that when I get there. But that's the lashes. So now we're going to move on to. So I'm just going to put a little of this. Um, this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Pink Juice Moisturizer. It's just a little sample. I'm just going to put a little of that on because my face is super dry. I've kind of been skip it on my skincare a little where I've been sick so my face is really dry but I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on so now I'm gonna take my Smashbox photo finish primer I know you can't see that because of the slot but I'm just gonna take a little bit of that this is like a silicone based primer so it's not the best for oily skin but 
I'm trying to use it up as well because I do have quite a few primers I need to use up. And I'm just going to rub that in. This primer doesn't take a lot at all. So, so for my foundation, this is a foundation that I've literally wore for years. It's my favorite drugstore foundation ever. I've tried so, so, so many. But this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I literally have shades 104 for when I'm tan. I have this one. I just love it. This is actually in a project pan because I'm trying to use it up. I've got so many foundations. So I'm trying to use some up. And then we're going to put the foundation on now. I'm just going to pat that in. So I'm just going to use foundation. I'm just going to put it on my hand because it is getting really low. So I'm going to have to just squirt some out of my hand and then pick it up with my sponge the sponge i use is the real techniques just the smaller one and i'm just gonna start putting on my foundation My nose is kind of red where I've been sick too. I have, I have a husband back here playing video games and a dog back here snoring. So, <laughs> so my cheeks are kind of red so. <clears throat> I don't know. And I am going to kind of go around my nose ring because it's still kind of new. So I'm not going to put any makeup on yet. I'm just going to bring that down my neck. And then. I'm going to take a little bit, sorry if I'm like digging over here, my makeup bag's over here. I'm going to take a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape. I am in shade light. And I'm just going to like dab that under my eyes and anywhere I might have any like blue mesh or anything so I kind of look like I don't know I look really weird right now I don't put it in like the center of my face and stuff I just I'm lazy I know that's like supposed to brighten up your face but I'm just lazy so I literally put it under my eyes sometimes I don't even use concealer <laughs> I'm really, I'm really lazy when it comes to makeup most of the time. So, there's that. Now I'm going to take my Cody Air Swim Powder. My face is oily, so I set like my whole face because, like I said, my face gets very oily. But I don't feel like that foundation, the L'Oreal foundation, is too matte. It's still really good. They do make a glowing one as well, though, if you think you would need that. That's my favorite foundation. So that's all I'm going to do for that. Now for bronzer, I'm going to use the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I've hit pan on this. It's 
It's my favorite. This is just the original. I've had it literally forever <laughs> and I still have not used it up. So I'm going to just take a Real Techniques brush and just swirl it in there and just, I'm not contouring. I'm just going to like warm up my cheeks, my face a little bit. Like I said, I'm really lazy. So, like, I don't contour anymore. <laughs> so. Every now and then I will. Like, I have a Kat Von D um, palette that I like using to contour. But not very often do I contour. My hair's everywhere. I'm so sorry. Okay, so... Now that I have some like definition to my face. Um, for blush, I have been using this Anastasia Blush Trio. I got this at like TJ Maxx or something and I combine these two shades. I don't use the middle one, it's too glittery. So I just combine other two and just put it on the apples of my cheeks. And I know it looks really weird to like smile while I'm doing it. I'm just going to put a little on my nose. Okay. And I just used a Morphe brush for that. And for highlight, I have been using... This is the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero. <laughs> I'm trying to... Where y'all can like see it. Um, it's a Nicole Guerrero. It's absolutely gorgeous. There you go. You all can see the colors. I usually use Kitty Cat, Forever Young, or Glow Gator. 143 is not as dark as it looks, so sometimes I'll use it. But I think I'm going to use Forever Young today. I wish y'all could see how. I'm just going to put it on the tops of my cheekbones, a little on my nose, and then my cupid's bow. Okay, so there's my highlight. And then, now before I do anything else, I'm just going to, well no, actually I'm going to do my brows. So for my brows, I've been using the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in Medium Brown. This is also kind of in my Project Pan video because yes, I'm trying, I'm to, trying use to use this up. I don't, I'd rather use a pencil, but whatever, so just gonna do my brows I don't have like a really good technique to do my brows but I usually like when I first dip my brush in I will start at the end because that's what needs to be darker and then I will go in the front and the middle so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that I don't know if I can do it on camera so I'm not good at brows trust me so I kind of just do the best I can. I need to actually wax my brows, which I want to do a video on how you wax your brows. And let me know down below if y'all would like a video to show you how I like wax my brows myself at home. I know a lot of people like sitting up with this over how their brows look, but I really don't take that long to do my brows.
Also, I forgot to mention I'm using the Anastasia angled brow brush with it as well. I feel like my makeup videos don't get as many views. And then I'm just going to take, I know you're not supposed to do this, but I feel like it makes my eyes pop. I don't know if it's just brown eyes or just me thinking this. But I'm going to take a little bit of the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Eye Pencil Eyeliner and just put a little bit in my waterline. Okay, so. There's that. And then... For my lips, I'm not exactly sure what I used in that video that I got the request on, but um, I usually have a variation of lip products that I use that's pretty much the same color. So, usually it's the MAC Strip Down Lip Liner with the Wet n Wild Bare It All little lipstick that's like a dollar, or I will use the MAC Strip Down Lip Liner with MAC Honey Love Lipstick. So I think I was wearing the Wet n Wild one in that video. So that's just what I'm going to use today. But yeah, I'm just going to line my lips with Strip Down. And that's just... My lips are so dry. I'm so sorry. And then I'm just going to use the Wet n Wild Bare All Lipstick. The reason I think it was this one is this one's more shiny than the Honey Love and my lips were kind of shiny in that video. So. And this is the completed look. It was super simple and just really, really easy. I was kind of lazy that day and I just wanted to do something kind of bold on my like lashes and then simple on pretty much everything else. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe down below and let me know if you all want to see more makeup videos because I feel like those don't get as many views. But if you all want to see some more, I will of course do some more makeup videos and I hope y'all enjoyed and follow all my socials. They're always linked down below and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.